what's up guys got another one to show you this is a troika chopper dial uh, if you remember in it's been a while back i showed you the troika dials that i had remaining um i had a few that i was going to make for myself some of which i didn't have a second of one of them i did have a second of and this is one of those choppers so if you recall uh with the troika that was a uh if i recall it was a partnership with china and russia to build watches and uh the cases that they put these watches in um, were n kind of crappy uh metal they were not waterproof and they were kind of a flop now the guts on the inside the dial itself and the movement was the Russian side of it. So uh, I have been able to find a few dials, been able to find a full, a couple complete older watches, like this was pushing 20 years ago. Um, and then uh, I put them in nice, fancy new ones. Um, so this is the only other Troika chopper I've ever had. I haven't built myself one yet, but we wanted an all silver kind of ghosted. As you can see in that light, sometimes this goes away and that's what we were looking for so the dial is silver on mirror the bezel is a polished aggressive shark tooth we've got a silver on silver insert in there we've got a jubilee or beads of rice style got a chopper there on the clasp Got a large window exhibition case back with a silver rotor in there. Kind of staying with that ghosted theme. The steel movement holder in there. Hammer and sickle engraved crown if it wants to focus. And then I did a silver handset with a white seconds hand. So that is his build as a whole. Um, obviously matching beads to go with it. It's ghosted as well. So, um, a little different with these ones, with the date wheel there. So, as always, go show you, this is held on with a tension ring, not a clickable bezel. I did put some stuff in there to make this a little bit tighter, but eh, it's not as tight as I'd like it to be, but I did add a bunch of stuff in there to make it a little bit tighter. Um, threw his name there on the side for him. So these are automatic mechanicals. You can wind them, you can wear them, you can put them on a watch winder. Uh, to wind them, you're gonna back off the threads and you can wind. This direction winds it, this direction does nothing, but it's a lot easier to kinda just go back and forth keeping that space away from the threads. If you wind it for a little bit before you wear it, even if you're not very active, you're gonna keep time. If you uh, sit here and wind it for 15, 20 seconds, you'll max out your 31 hour power reserve. Um, you cannot overwind it, you can wind it like this all day. And let's show you the date wheel. So, you're going to be pulling on the threads, you're going to be pulling on the crown, it's a wobble crown, so you've got some deflection there, so it's not hurting the movement when you're pulling and prying on it, but you're going to be kind of pulling it back. So, how do we advance the date quickly? Well, it's not quick. You're gonna sit here and you're gonna wind this around. Oh, man, apparently I was a little bit behind or a little bit uh, off when I set the hands. A full hour, one in the morning on the shift. Sorry, Ralph. Um, though that was uh, a little difficult getting that one on there. You wanna make sure when you're getting them on there I wasn't hurting that mirror. So, uh, so if you're noticing what I'm doing here, I'm winding it back to eight and advancing back forward to 12. Technically I am advancing it to one. But that is how you do a quick date set on them. Now, For you, if you're wearing it all the time, 
man, that was weird. That first one was like an hour later, wasn't it? Now it's like back. I was like, I don't remember that being that far off. Very weird. <clears throat> so it's like it's going one o'clock, then twelve o'clock. I've never seen anything like that before. Hey man, I'm just gonna go with it. It's advancing, and it's advancing around the proper time frame. It's like it went back. A little odd. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, normally I'm about in here, because what you're doing when you're setting your hands, you, uh, advance it until the date changes and then you need to set that hour hand point at 12 right and then you gotta put that down at six put the minute hand on so sometimes getting that first hand on takes a few minutes so you lose a little bit of time but as you can see this is not necessarily that quick but as you see it going back to eight so weird. Other times it was like 1 in the morning, wasn't it? I know it was. So if you watch that 27, it's going to start going up in the air around 9 o'clock and then drops back down. Once it drops back down, you know it's fine. You can move it back forward, which is about 8 o'clock. So this is all we're doing. There's 1 o'clock. Super weird. So just so his is set right, we'll go through here and do this. It's like the 16th, wasn't it? Oh, I was, you know, for whatever reason, I was thinking the date was earlier in the month than it was. And I was like, well, I'm going to have to do this anyway. I didn't have to. I only needed to advance it like three or four days. That's weird. See, it's a new one on me. A lot of times it's at that, but sometimes it's past that. Okay, Google, what's today's date? It is Wednesday, February 17th, 2021. That's good to do this anyway, even if I had to do it for 45 days. Make sure the hands are fine. Make sure it's running properly. 17th, that's my brother's birthday. Should text him at midnight, tell him that. It was. It's like it catches, like something was like holding it. And then when you advance, see right there? There it is. It's weird. It's like. There's where it wants to go. Must be something on uh, part of the wheel or something like that. So 17. Okay, Google, what time is it? It's 1.19 a.m. 1.19 a.m. That wobble crown also makes it nice and easy to push right back over and thread down. So Ralph, that was uh, a little interesting. Unless you're up at midnight or 1 in the morning. Um... Sometimes it's going to advance at 12 and sometimes at 1. But it's consistently going to do it that way for uh, every single time I did it. So that was a, kind of odd, but um, no worries on that. So that's the build as a whole, as we showed, matching these to go with it. Hope he, hopefully he likes it as much in pictures as he does in hand. Um, Oh, a silver special edition box that's uh, not in focus. Um, this build, since there is no leather involved, it's just going to have some watch cleaner and 
some scratch remover because he can scratch the glass. And if he does, puts a little bit on that and buffs it right out. Ralph's a pro. He's got all kinds of watches from me. Uh, but if you get a scratch in there, uh, put a little bit on your microfiber and buff it out. Buff against that scratch. Fill in that scratch and uh, then remove any excess. Uh, you put too much on there, you're going to be pushing it under your bezel. It's going to just be soaking into your rag. So just use a little bit. I promise a little bit will go a long way. And uh, that's it. So if you want to build like this, you can't get one. Uh, Ralph has it. And that's it. Uh, unless I can find another dial. And I've been looking for a year and a half. And uh, that's the one I got. So uh, if you happen to find one, let me know. Um, I've had to pay a pretty penny for several of them. So, uh, But uh, thank you all. If you want me to bogey something custom unique, reach out. And uh, if you want to keep seeing builds like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.